Recently, I went back to my old school to get some footage for this exact video. And walking through the halls, I, I really couldn't help but think. Time really does go by fast. Am I just no good for this? Like, like I'll have my days where I will walk out of the practice and be like, man, maybe I'll just never be as good as I want to be. Like, what am, like, what the heck? And you have these like big realizations. Where you're like, maybe I suck. And then, you know, I go home and I'm like, you know what though? Imagine if you couldn't do this. You're like, I miss it. And I think that, you know, it's the same. Like, you hear the seniors give the speech every year where it's like, you're gonna miss it even if you hate it right now. I'm good. I was never really someone that was good at wrestling. I didn't have extraordinary genetics and I just started wrestling my freshman year. Throughout the first year of wrestling, I really questioned why am I doing this? And I never won a match that year. I went throughout the year watching my friends get better, pinning kids, winning matches, and um, I was just there losing. <laughs> uh, I, I really don't know why I stuck there. And as cliche as it sounds, winning is not everything. I should have known that from the start because I didn't win at all. It's, it really was just what I loved about wrestling was the journey and nothing can replace the journey that wrestling gave me. Are you already lost? In your cards? No. You <laughs> just said you was going to be 150 seconds. Oh, I
that this year. Let's go. After being on JV for my freshman and sophomore year, my junior year I finally had the confidence to wrestle and with that I made it onto the varsity team and I couldn't tell you how but I made it to state. I actually made it to state and for some reason I didn't feel like I actually did. I went to state with the mindset of well I at least made it so that's good enough and I'm gonna be completely transparent with you guys. With that mindset sure I got a few takedowns but I didn't get far and I got eliminated on the first day. But. Looking back at it as a junior, I realized over the years I've made so much progress. From not winning a match to actually being able to compete at the state level, I really underestimated myself. I took that loss as motivation to do better next year, and I set my goal to be the state champ. It was my senior year, and I wanted to give it my all. After our banquet, I'm asking you guys what you plan on doing, either better than last year, and I don't want to hear state. If you made it to state, it better be to win it. Don't half step me. They'll tell you that all the way through, all college coaches. If a college coach calls you, especially if he thinks you're good, and actually what you plan on doing for state, and you tell him I think, about, I, think I should place, no, he don't want to hear that. I'm winning. And that's not, that's not putting your head too high in the clouds. That's, I'm going after it. If I fall short trying to win it, you know what, it game show you right out place. But if I accept the only idea is for me to just the place, no. Because you will always fall short for that. And that goes after wrestling, after whatever you're doing after this year for all you seniors. When you guys are done, man, you might not never wrestle again. Understand the comment when I say it takes a little bit of crazy to be in here, and that's part of the crazy. That's the crazy. Don't take any slack for anything you do in this room. Come tell me who's ready to come in here and get beat up and then see where they're at every weekend. This sport is gonna do one thing or two things to you. It's gonna show you who you are or it's gonna make you to a better person. Point blank, period. And I'll be straight up honest. Guys, what people remember, what you do for the rest of your life is your commitment. You're going to remember how hard you work. When you do what you say you're going to do, then you're going to be successful. It's that freaking simple. So I know you get tired. I know you get banged up. I know you get hurt sometimes. But this is the last freaking chance y'all have to be high school life. Guys, you can never go back there. Take advantage of it.
My senior year didn't go how I planned it to, but if you were to take anything from my experience, my advice as a high school graduate is to take every match as a learning experience. Always strive to win and set big goals, but if you don't meet those goals, I can assure you that in the process you will realize your losses will always be your greatest lessons. Remember your journey and most importantly, remember the people you had it with. Go slow. Come on. Woo! Easy. Woo! Stop it on the Right on them socks, baby. What'd you say? What'd you say? Spread them. Unsub. Yeah. Don't forget to not comment. Yeah. Dislike. Hashtag bring back mythology. And it should be up. You should be looking at the mat. You know where the mat is. Up. One. One. Good. Down. Up. Two. Two. Down. Yes, he's smart. What's sore right now? Nothing. Let sore. <laughs> Shake him out. I'm not making fun of you being on the math team. I'm just, I, I like it. I like it. I like it. It's a good injury! Ah! Love it. Austin is a silent assassin. He'll kill you in the classroom and he'll kill you on the mat. Sit up, boom, oh, that's it. Exhale, quit clowning. Come on, come on. It's last year, baby. It's the last ride. I drove all the way down to Mount Austin with you turkeys. I need a little bit of work. Come on, let's go. I want. I don't want to be one kid at state this year. How you doing, oh. guys? So we're working out push. here. That's it. <laughs> Come on, push, push that. Go. Here we go. Here we go. That's fine. It's gonna feel weird at first. Good. Just like you need to be able to shoot. With Why are you flexing Come all on. the time, bro? All right. Better keep working here. Keep working. Ah. ah. Come on, Fumbleina. Let's go. I'll Come on, Fumbleina. I don't care. You dropped. A, you just dropped a single leg. What's the Fumbleina? Bro, Say it out. again. Rick out. He disappears like, like this. I, t I swear to God. <laughs> like I'm trying to find my bout number. I try to know what my bout number is, and I can't find Rick out. Your bout number's over here. I'll find them for you. Sorry, Sam. I kind of stopped it too early for Carson's match, so you didn't see him get his hand raised. But oh, and you got yours. <laughs> Let's see how far we can go. Hold up, Mark should be near the bottom. One more! Okay! Woo. Someone jumped. It wasn't even a... It wasn't even a... Someone said... Let me get off. Hey, Sam. Hey, get ready! What's up? No, 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 no. You just leave it from the outside, look. It's gonna look so much better. Just get a see like, in the frame, and you can see John's Creek Wrestling. And put someone get someone right here to push the door slowly, and then I'll turn off the lights from the inside. So Nima, come here. But I want some movement in this shot. Okay. So you we're gonna, to, I'm gonna, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. do a zoom out, and then it's gonna close. Okay. Stand right here. Bro, why you why you stick your chest out like that? You know this camera on, so you you have your lats out like that too. I got the biggest lats. In the 